News tonight, a mother nursing her own gunshot wound tonight, talking about the pain of losing her toddler in the crossfire of a fight that started on Facebook. 7 Action News reporter Tara Edwards joins us live tonight with a chilling story new at 11. Tara? Well, Stephen, a miracle's mother was released from the hospital this evening and went straight to tonight's vigil for her daughter. And while she is so grateful for all the support she has received, she is heartbroken tonight. It just seemed like I can't make it without her. It's impossible for Frida Tiggs to understand why beef between two young women had to result in tragedy. A senseless shooting that took the life of her little daughter, a miracle Williams. The three year old sister, Chinetta Williams, was threatened on Facebook and Instagram and later by phone by a girl who was once her friend. Frida says a group of men and women showed up at her home off Mogul on Detroit's east side to attack her older daughter. They started jumping her. I threw myself over her. They started hitting me, kicking me. They, I mean, just no respect at all. And they just started shooting, shooting. I laid down and tried to play like I was dead. It didn't stop them. They kept shooting. According to DPD, a miracle's father tried to protect the women and fired a shot. But a young man grabbed the gun, and witnesses say the man started shooting as he went into the house. Sadly, little a miracle was killed as she was running from the bullets. A miracle she will always be, always be in our hearts. Pink and purple balloons were released into the sky tonight for the toddler, and a candlelight vigil was held outside her home. And you need to fall on your knees as a city and pray that we don't come together for stuff like this no more. A miracle's father, a 17 year old pregnant friend, one of the suspects were also hit by bullets, as well as Frito, who had left the ceremony in a walker. Loved ones are just hoping all the suspects in this case are caught soon. I just want justice for my sister. <laughs> Like, we can't bring her back. We can't bring her back. And we know that two people are in custody, two suspects. One, the suspected shooter. The other, the suspected getaway driver. But police are looking for other suspects right now. We know that the family is having a difficult time paying for funeral costs. So a memorial fund has been set up under the Miracle Williams Memorial Fund. Live at Detroit Police Headquarters, Tara Edwards, 7 Action News. Carolyn. All right, thank you so much, Tara, for that live report.